Hi guys, welcome to my uh, system here. That's the system we're work working on. And I've been working on it since January 26, I guess. Yep. So new installation. The video I'm gonna make is a question on Discord. So Arclex provides you with lots of tutorials, lots of support and Often we do that in tutorials because we hope that one question will help hundreds of other people when it's on YouTube, right? So at this point in time, that's important to mention, the key servers are out. Key servers is where you put your public key on and you can get it. And Pacman works with keys. We've seen lots of messages, I suppose, already about keys. Okay, so the key servers are not our property. They're online and they keep keys from everybody. And at this point in time, they told me there was a problem with certificates or something like that. And Pacman receives error. He can't get keys. So basically as an end user, we say the key servers are down. What can you do in regarding to keys? You go to the Arco Linux for. We've gathered lots of information about keys, frequent asked questions, get the Arclix keys and this video will go in there as well. So if the keys where you want to receive the keys from the servers, these, these servers, these guys here, if they do not respond, ah, it's not going to work. So workarounds, can we do something else? Yes. Now the person in question did something also interesting that I want to include in the video. I told them that with Arclink Spices tool, we can normally, right, when the servers are all working, then it should be happening without any issue that's getting the servers in. But at this point in time, it seems to be impossible. So he went to GitHub well maybe I should start first with Apple Linux uh, info right information at the main site this is what we call the main site your information for the users right this gives you a lot of information already and we tell you that if you go to the next phase we have an, an learning idea of going through phases and phase five is Arch Linux. Say bye bye Arch Linux. I'll take the Arch Linux ISO. I'll install my system and that's it. But once you install Arch Linux, you do not have any configurations. There is no long list of i3 configuration. There is no open box with a nice menu to have some right mouse click. None of it will work. You need to make everything yourself from scratch. And that's what we've done, right? Over the years, we've made configurations. So at some point in time, when you're on Arch Linux, you want to have those packages from Arch Linux, right? Because, hey, there's more to life than, than installing systems. You want to have a working system at the end of the day, let's say, right? An investment of eight hours. But it's not going to be that easy. Starting with Arch Linux, it is easy with packages you import. So this is the goal, importing packages on Arch Linux and the patch RC and so on. Now, what he did then was a very smart thing and it's um, good that I show you. So somewhere online, we have Arch Linux, the Arch Linux D, and sorry, with a D at the end, Arch Linux D, all the scripts, if you're on Arch, you can do that. Or Arch Linux, doesn't matter. So Arch Linux D, ISO, and then use the Arch Linux D scripts. Arch Linux B, build your own ISO. And then there is Arch Linux ISO itself for Carly. Okay. So the general one, Arch Linux, holds the tool we create, Spices tool, Arch Linux Spices. And he downloaded this. Well, not download zip. Well, it's okay if you do, but better is that you go to your desktop maybe like this 
and do git clone. Why? Afterwards you can do a git pull. It's one month later and you do a git pull. Did anything change? If nothing changed, it says up to date. And then you know, nothing happened to the tool. Okay, so in here we have packages. So the thing, this thing is exactly the same as the one you see here. So it's gonna load up a small GUI. And every single time you press a button, all it does is run a script. So you don't need the GUI, don't need it. You run this to fix the key server, open it up, to see what the lines are. Here we're going to download it, but this is not possible. The key servers respond in error, right? So if you can't receive anything, then you can't sign anything. So everything else fails. But I want to tell it anyway for future reference. You can run the scripts. Nobody needs the GUI. It's just a front end to run seven things. Six and one. That's it. All right. How do we solve it now? Now comes the solution. Packages have been created already, right? On Arch Linux, there's no problem. This is Arch, an issue on Arch. Okay, so where are the packages from Arch Linux? Seat host, Arch Linux. Data center, we're on Belnet I see now. It's okay, it's a copy paste. So Arch Linux repo, XF64, all the way down, go for the package. It has probably something to do with keys, right? So you go for the key. Here it is, key ring, click. It's downloaded. That's all I need to have, this download. I go to downloads. I have already downloaded it once because it is a second trial for the video. Open terminal here. And you say sudo pacman minus u. You're going to install it, so you put U, okay? So that's how we uh, remember that. It's not on the repo, it's not minus S, it's minus U, it's local, it's on your system. And you will install it right now. And then you say your password and boom. The thing is in and he knows the keys, locally signing trusted keys, locally signing trusted keys. So we're good, but now you have keys. Where are the references to the repo? Well, actually, it's the same way. Oh, I need to delete some stuff here. That's gone. Okay. The same thing applies, what I was thinking um, before I got distracted. What was I thinking? That we need to have we need to have the mirror list as well. This contains where are the packages, where are the mirrors. So we need to have that one and you do just your pseudo pacman minus u again, the mirror list, where are our files. So sudo pacman minus u, article next mirror list. Installed. If you want to know what all these things do, PAMEC is there for you. PAMEC shows you what happens to your system. I always do this, I, I learn a lot of it because of it, right? In here, files, what happens? Go and have a look. What's in there? What's in this file? What does it say? Okay, done. Next thing, how does Pacman know where the repos are. He doesn't, of course. You're not on Arch Linux, you're on Arch Linux. So I need to go back to the GitHub from Arch Linux, find the ISO. One of those is good, they all use the same thing, but this is our official one, Arch Linux XL ISO, that's the flagship. So always get back to the flagship, that's my idea. pacma.conf raw control A Control C or UP, a little bit more specific. 
but it's these guys that you need to have these lines these lines are from Argonlex and I just told it this morning um, it's the first um, first time first come first served uh, basis so if a package is on this repo which is not used right hashtags so if the package is on this repo it will come from here never mind if it's here or here or here the first one first come first serve that's how it works okay so if you need to you do that Control c and you go to your own etc pacman.conf and you copy paste it over and then you're good to go at that point you have pacman who knows where it is He's pointing to a file you now have, Arconlix mirror list. You got it because you installed it. And the keys are in there. So, Pacman, mirrors, keys. He's got it all. Now it's got to work. Okay? So, I'll include the video on the, the website in here in the forum. There it is. And, um, well, may it help you. All right, cheers.